One of the most iconic supermodels of all times is opening up about her personal journey as a breast cancer survivor and sharing a stunning look back at her career in the new book, Linda Evangelista, photographed by Stephen Mizell. Please welcome the most amazing Linda Evangelista. <laughs> I watch you guys, you guys, you women, every day. Do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're the you. one. <laughs> You're the one. Thank you for that. I love that. Listen, it's, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and you are a survivor. You had <laughs> quite the journey with it, getting a diagnosed in December 2018, then again in July 2022. Was your experience different each time, or was it just kind of similar and it made it easier the second time to fight? Well, I think everybody's experience is going to be different. Um, it started out with my routine mammogram, which I know, I love seeing all this pink today. Um, yeah. um, I know we don't like doing our mammograms. I'm the biggest procrastinator, but um, that was one thing I was really faithful to. And you know, they call you back in the room, we wanna have another look. Right. So it was an early DCIS. Um, I have another disease that involves my lungs and a lumpectomy um, that wasn't so great turned out, ended up being a double mastectomy, oh. which was the right decision for me. And I thought, you know, I'm not gonna die of breast cancer. Right. Um, and then, you know, there's a little, little chance it comes back and yeah. um, my oncologist says, you know, you know your body so well because I went back with a little, I'll call it a bump, not a lump, and it's up here in my pec muscle. And it was, you know, it's always, everybody's story's gonna have be nuanced. And mine ended up being, we'll just get it out and give you some radiation. But I had a really bad oncotype score. I don't know if you all know what that is. It's a score that tells you um, your probability of getting the cancer again. And they take into effect, uh, account many, many things, including genetics and, uh, mine was bad. So I had to have the chemo. I'm on fantastic meds for five years. They make you feel so good. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Really? They're horrible. The, they're, <laughs> the hormone suppressors. It's oh. like, oh. They make you sick. They make you feel old. Yeah. And but you've said, with all you've overcome, you said, my goal now is to get old. I want to get yes. really, really old. Yes. Uh, I guess after you've been very ill, you just value life even more, am I right? True. Yeah. I've had so many surgeries, and um, I thought I could tackle anything, but nothing like chemo to put you in your, you know. And any <laughs> scars that yeah. you have, you, you, you welcome the scars. Oh, I'm okay with scars. I think scars are trophies. Yes. I think yeah. I, I'm, I'm good with scars. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to say it. Yeah. And Linda, sorry to fangirl, but you're even more beautiful in person, so it's such an honor to have you here. Um, but in, in addition to obviously surviving two bouts of breast cancer, you were open about a cosmetic procedure that went wrong that you basically went into hiding for the better part of five years. But now, you're everywhere. You're on the cover of British Vogue. You right, closed where? the Fendi show. I mean, you're, you have a new book. There's a new book of images available called Linda, Ev Linda Evangelista, photographed by the famous Stephen Mizell. You're just thriving. I want to ask you, how is the modeling world different than when you got mm. your start now? Mm. Oh, gosh, it's so different. Um, by the way, when I came out and spoke about my um, um, issues with this cosmetic procedure that was not plastic surgery, it was very routine. I've gotten it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know some. Yeah. So many people get but it's a routine. I had a yes. rare 
they call it rare, complication. And I tried to fix it surgically twice and it, those failed. But when I came out, it was because I wanted to live again. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to stay hiding in my apartment. And um, I just wanted to live life again, not knowing that um, one designer, Kim Jones, saw my story and he wrote me a letter and said, well, I want to work with you. And wow. I said, but you don't know what it's like, what's under there. And he said, no, you're beautiful. I want to work with you. And from that, I did British Vogue. And then uh, I was most recently on American Vogue, September issue, and so on, on runways. And I mean, it, I, I cannot believe the love and support I got from my industry. Yeah. But oh, so your question was <laughs> the difference between now. Yes. Well, I have a pet peeve, um, a big one. I think post-production is the devil. Oh. I think filters and retouching are the devil. When back in the day, when we did a photograph, yes, we cheated. We tied our belt so tight and then put Coke cans in the back to cinch our waist. We held reflectors to, you know, take out the bags. We, you know, yeah. every, but... These are good tips. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Gotta write that Walk down. around with a reflector. Um, but they didn't retouch the photo. Like yeah, we yeah. did it like perfectly on set and what you saw was what you got. And today it's like no matter what happens on set, like a button will pop off and they'll say, don't worry, we'll put it on later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, your eyelash will be hanging off and they're like, don't worry, we'll fix it later. Yeah. It's like everything is fixed later and like all the magic and soul is yeah. disappeared. The artistry. Yeah. The artistry. Well, it gives yeah. the wrong impression to young women too right. that they well, are yeah. supposed yeah. to look like that. But they're and not they getting can't. retouched in their lives. Well, yeah. we have a minute left, but I wanted oh. to say, when you came out, I hope you heard everyone yelling icon, because yes. you <laughs> remain an icon. Oh. It's impossible to think about the 90s without thinking about you. I just saw your incredible docuseries called Supermodels, yes. with your uh, co-supermodels Naomi, Cindy Crawford, Ooh. Chrissy Turlington. You all recently walked the runway with them at Vogue World in London, and people think of the industry as being so cutthroat, but what I saw was friendship. Yeah. Oh, wow. What I saw was friendship. Long, so. Long lasting. Long lasting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Listen, you should come and spend some time at oh, this my table God, I'd love with to. us.